Well, Aer Lingus has a very long history in this region. Uh, we've been operating into New York and Boston, out of Dublin and Shannon for close to 60 years now. So we're a well-known brand and airline in this area, and we believe that there is a market that exists between Boston and New York for Connecticut-based travelers who don't want to make that commute to one of the other airports. We believe it's going to be very popular and it's already booking well. You may be aware Dublin is fast becoming a major transatlantic hub. It has moved from 11th position in the European League table of transatlantic hubs to fifth position since 2010. So it is becoming increasingly popular with people. The reasons for it are, number one, we have customs and border protection pre-clearance, which means you can get all of the paperwork out of the way before departing from the US. That's a great facility for people that avoids lengthy queuing at the other end. And also we have a very easy to navigate airport, so it's not as big as Sheepall or, or Heathrow, for example. The other reason is that people like Aer Lingus' service, they like our pricing, we have a, a value proposition which people seem to be availing of in increasing numbers. We're expecting quite a rich mix of different types of customers throughout the cabin, but we believe there will be a big appeal for business travellers who are travelling from, say, financial hubs in Europe and want to get direct into Hartford. Hartford is the insurance capital of the world, so we will have a lot of people travelling from the International Financial Service Centre in Dublin, but also from places, spokes on our European network such as Frankfurt, such as London, such as Amsterdam. We think uh, it's going to perform well on that front. Also, Connecticut is a fantastic region for leisure travellers. So for holiday makers, we're in the Mark Twain house here now. There are fantastic, interesting sightseeing opportunities in this part of the world and very uh, pleasant climate and lots to do.